Hi all folks, so this is Max from htcevohacks.com um, So I'm going to show you how to install new ROMs on a HTC EVO um, 3D um, First you need to get into bootloader mode by taking your battery well, bootloader by taking your battery out and then holding down the volume down if that's hard to press you can put the case back in and then hold down the volume down and then hit the power button and this will get into get you into bootloader mode right and once you have you're in the bootloader mode um, go down to recovery using volume down and hit the power button and this will get you into um, clockwork mod recovery of course you have to have your phone rooted if you don't if you don't have your 3d rooted go to hccvohacks.com I have instructions there and uh, first well before you went in here um, you should have copied over uh, the ROM file that you're trying to install right for me right now I'm installing the MIG-G ROM so um, I forgot to copy it oh no I did copy it over uh, but what you can also do is uh, go to advanced hit the power button and um, oops no go back hit the power button you can go to mounts and storage and hit the power button and you can actually connect it as a disk drive from Clockwork Mod Recovery so you don't have to reboot your phone and there's an option for mount USB storage right there you can see and if you hit the power button and connect the USB cable to your computer it will be a disk drive so you don't have to reboot Just that way do that and copy over your ROM file too you can do that anyway most ROMs will require you to uh, wipe data factory reset Make sure you back up all your apps, favorite apps using Titanium Backup and Contacts. Um, you know, if you use Gmail, did you know if you use Gmail that all your contacts are saved uh, and all your email through Gmail, so you don't have to back it up ever. That's what I do because I have a bunch of phones. Anyway, what we're going to do is uh, wipe data factory, reset, hit the power button. Um, go to yes, delete all user data, hit, hit the power button. And then that will take like five seconds one two three oh three seconds and then um, you can go to install zip from SD card hit the power button choose zip from SD card hit the power button and then go find the file uh, the ROM file the zip file you don't have to unzip those ROM files by the way you just copy it straight over um, this one is the C-H-O-G-A-R-D-J-R-3-D-Version 0.9. This is actually the EVO 3D MIG-G 3D ROM. Hit the power button and go to yes and hit the power button. And it'll install the new ROM and when it's done you reboot. Enjoy the new ROM. Anyway, I'll let this sit. This is going to actually take about 5 minutes. Go have a cigarette or coffee um, and uh, I'll be back. Hi all folks, so that's how you install a new ROM, it's done. Um, I'm just going to reboot it and show you that it worked. Um, so I'm making this video so I don't have to make it again, I can just link to it whenever I review ROMs and there's going to be people who don't know how to install ROMs. Anyway, I'll be back when this reboots. Hi all folks, so it rebooted fine. Um, if you have trouble with some ROMs, um, what you can do is after you install the ROM, if you get stuck in boot loop or something, you can go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery, and if you go to Advanced, there's a, a thing called um, Clear Dalvik Cache. Um, you can try clearing that and reboot it, and if that doesn't work, you can reboot it into Clockwork Mod Recovery, and also clear the cache. Um, these sometimes they affect some of the ROMs um, if the developer they didn't clean out the cache before they released it. Um, other than that, uh, I should be really easy to install new ROMs and uh, my next video will be a review of this ROM I just installed it's called the MIG-G 3D or Sugar Sugar D Junior 3D ROM anyway thanks you all subscribe and I'll have more cool videos on my channel and over at HCCEvoHacks.com see y'all later